So my favorite part about being a woman in our industry is the element of surprise. Believe it or not, it's 2021, but there are still people who are absolutely shocked that women are in this industry. It has been known as to be a very male dominated industry. Um, I'm very fortunate to have our company a 50-50 ratio. So we have women in the field, women in the office, women running jobs. Um, so it gives me a lot of pride and joy that there are so many women joining our forces in this industry. And I just, I just, I love it. It's being able to help other women navigate through the loss process. Many times women will call our office asking for advice and they feel more comfortable talking to me as another woman. We are a value add. We have uh, different approaches and skills and even gifts and blending that in a male dominated field can be magical. There are so many ways to shine in this industry from field work to management to education and training. Uh, no matter where you are in your current career path, there is a place for you in this industry to shine and grow. You'll be in the company of some great women, uh, incredible women supporting you along the way. They've blazed the trails and they're still doing the thing. The fact that we actually have opportunities. I am in an area where when you have a female PM on a project, it's interesting. People are interested, clients are interested. They want more females on these projects. And we also have the opportunity of being a woman owned business, which usually you can gain additional projects, county work, city work. I think that women are generally really good problem solvers. And what happens when a problem comes up? I personally will just jump in head first. And I realize that I don't really have a fear filter because I can go into problem solving mode and go fix the problem. So I enjoy a lot of that drive and passion to jump into problem solving mode without letting the fear kick in. We are in an industry full of people who care a lot about what they do and take a lot of pride in it. That's a really lucky thing that we can say that we are a part of and that we are the future of. My favorite part of being a woman in restoration is helping others. I've been able to follow in my dad's footsteps. He founded our business in 1960. And also it gives me an opportunity to be a reliable contractor when people are faced with a disaster. The diversity of the industry itself and how welcoming it is for everybody in a very diverse way, but also from backgrounds. Many of us who enter restoration have come from all different industries and it really becomes a melting pot where we can take our skills and our strengths and excel. The fact that I get to have such an effect on other people's lives, um, whether it's, you know, I'm out on a fire job actually doing contents and doing the job with the homeowner or I'm traveling to another company and training their staff. I, I just can't think of anything that I'd rather be doing and I feel privileged and really fortunate to have had a career that I accidentally fell upon <laughs> in, my, in my life. I think being a woman in this industry really gives me the opportunity to bring things to the table that maybe others can't. Like, you know, I'm, I'm a wife and a mom and a nurturer and I get to come into my job every day and be able to bring those things to the table. In fact, I think that's what makes me really good at my job is the fact that I am a woman. I really appreciate it when men hold the door for me and that gentlemen still exist. And when things are super heavy, there's usually more muscle to help me pick something up. So being a woman in restoration, sometimes I get out of having to haul a bunch of heavy stuff around because there's bigger muscles around me. Women in general are very empathetic. Most of our customers are going through some kind of trauma like fire or other damage to their home. Women have a strong ability to empathize and be comforting during a time of trial and hardship. My favorite thing about the restoration industry has nothing to do with me being a woman, but everything to do with the people of the restoration industry. Restorers are just some very special people and you have to be uh, just cut from a different cloth to be able to drop everything and go help someone when they need you. No matter what you had on your agenda for the day, um, you're servants and you're doers and you do it with a sense of urgency and you just have that passion for helping people. And 
I've always wondered like, what am I gonna do after I don't do this anymore? And I can't really think past that because I don't wanna think about being in an industry without restoration contractors, just because I love the camaraderie of this industry so much. And so the people and the relationships are what I love the most about the restoration industry. When people ask me, what do you do? And I say, I work in construction and restoration. And they're like, oh, because it's not a typical thing for a woman to be in this male dominated industry. And that's what I love. The element of surprise is further backed up by my company's top performing resume that I take very seriously. I like being a part of the movement that proves women can do anything. The women in this industry are also very supportive and inspire one another to be a strong leader and to believe in yourself. Thank you.